Jesus loves us as giver. This is verse 25. He says, Christ loved the church and gave himself up for it. Jesus loves us. And what it means to be a head and a savior is not just like I'm in charge. It's being a giver. So Jesus loves us as a giver. Think, just take a minute and think about all the things that you have in your life. Friends, possessions, health, church family, whatever it may be. That all came from Jesus. Life, Jesus. Jesus created all things. He gives all things. If you've got anything, it's from Jesus. And we're told that Jesus gave himself up for us on a cross for our sins, right? We keep hammering this over and over. This is what it means that Jesus loves us as a giver. Jesus is not a taker. People think that Jesus just wants to take this and wants to take this. He wants to take my money. He wants to take my fun. He wants to take my joy. But Jesus wants to take your sin and give you joy. Jesus wants to take your sin away and help you walk in obedience to him because Obedience to Jesus is not the killjoy. Sin is the killjoy. Sin is living opposite of how we're created to live. So that's what kills joy. And Jesus loves us, wants to take away the things that harm us and give us the things that would clothe us in righteousness and train us and teach us to walk in a way that is pleasing to him and that will give us joy. Jesus is giver and he loves us as a giver.